What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another episode of the Portsmouth career mode series. This is episode number 77 and we're going to start today's episode off guys by going into a game here against Arsenal in the Premier League. And we are going to be coming up against Arsenal, not changing the formation, going with the formation that we have been going with throughout the, well throughout this season really. Sticking with the trusty 4-2-3-1 as we come up against Arsenal. A side that are really, really doing well this season. Doing a lot better than Liverpool. And I do believe they're doing a lot better than any of the other clubs as well. You can see there they're in second. So they're really in the title race there. But before we get into anything, guys, I just want to thank you guys for all the support that you did give on the last episode. We managed to get well over 50 likes. And if we can do the same on this video, guys, that would be greatly appreciated. And again, apologies for the lack of uploads. Got a couple of things coming up recently and, uh, well, a couple of videos, I should say, coming up and they will be very, very good and hopefully they make up for it. Some nice, interesting videos that will kind of take it away from this series, make the content a little bit more fresh and interesting for you guys and hopefully you guys will look forward to that. Just needing some time, that is all. And then when I've got that time, I will basically upload all of the stuff and I will have time to. But regardless, we are going into this game here against Arsenal in the Premier League. And it was a very, very interesting one, actually. Arsenal got off storming off the block. They were really, really dominating me in the first 20 minutes or so in the match. And it was only until the 16th minute before we could even get a sniff on goal here and try and create a decent opportunity with our first bit of possession. It's bigger Romana playing through Ibe. And all of a sudden, Debushi's not able to catch up. He slides in desperately. Mertesacker was certainly not going to catch up and unfortunately Jordan Ibe drags his shot wide and that was a really good opportunity and the next chance will come in the 68th minute so really not too many chances in the game but it would be Prosperi going through here once again going past the slow defender and able to have a shot there but Chesney with a really good save at his near post and denying Prosperi from getting the goal there the young Spaniard from getting a goal and you can see they do get another good opportunity here as they play it round very very nicely here trying to get across into the middle they were going all out attacking at this point and it was a good opportunity there for their centre-back Koscielny to maybe head into the back of the net and change the momentum in this match but it wasn't meant to be and then we'd get a good chance here a really really poor taken free kick there by Arsenal and that would result to a good opportunity we just go past Mertesacker as if he's not there and unfortunately the finish is really really terrible from Neil Morpay probably expected a little bit more from him in that position and maybe I should have finessed it looking back on it it probably wasn't the best idea to go for a power shot they would get a good opportunity there though before the end of the game but unfortunately for them they couldn't quite score and in the end it would be a nil-nil result so probably on reflection it's probably quite a fair, a fair result to be honest we had chances they had chances as well but we just didn't take them they didn't take them and as a result we do end up picking up a draw i mean look at that arsenal had 12 shots to my four so it's pretty obvious they were the dominant side in that match and really on reflection they probably should have done a lot better with their finishing and as a result of that it is a draw so we share the points with Arsenal there. We pick up a point from that match and really it's not too bad because they're in second and we are looking to qualify for Europa League so any points are going to be helpful points really but we would have liked to have got a win on reflection with the chance we did have but anyway we are looking at the youth squad as it is now the May the 1st and we are going to look at some of the players here of course promoting youth players on the 1st of May is never always a good idea a lot of the time it will be especially if they're goalkeepers and in this case we do have a couple of goalkeepers here that are ready to be promoted as well as Alex Cartwright who actually looks pretty decent I have to admit we actually go ahead and offer a contract to Chuba Wally here he's going to be a third choice goalkeeper and that's absolutely fine will be nice to get him into the club and hopefully he will turn out to be a good player for the future and we are we are really doing well with these youth players actually I say we're not finding that many youth players but then look at our account Academy is full of really good youth players another one being Alex Cart right there and we will take a look at both of them at the end of the episode and take a little look at their stats when they do accept their contracts after this match against Chelsea and Chelsea they are currently sitting on first in the Barclays Premier League so they're doing really well this season as well as Arsenal actually so it's first versus second actually that we've actually played in today's episode so far Arsenal being second and Chelsea being first really storming away actually and it's a bit like real life isn't it you know Arsenal trying to catch up with Chelsea 
bit similar to the table in this career mode really than it is in real life and you can see we are going with a little bit of a change of formation as well for this match I thought I'd give a little bit of a change of formation because some of you were saying maybe it's time to change up the formation and that is exactly what I've done here maybe a little bit of a risk because this is a must win game we're in seventh but I've gone with a little bit more of a narrower formation to the 4-2-3-1 that I've been accustomed to using. Some more central midfielders will be playing. And we will actually be coming up against our old player, George Taylor, in this match. I didn't actually think he'd be playing. But they were actually playing a fairly weak team, I have to admit. Torres up front. I really wasn't worried about that. I mean, I was more worried about someone like Remy maybe coming on and doing the business. But, you know, Fernando Torres, that was a good opportunity for him there. And unfortunately for him, he couldn't score it. And really, that was the main thing in this match. It was just Hazard and lots of other players having chances on goals here. It'd be Torres having another shot at goal. And again, it's saved by the goalkeeper. A really poor effort. And they really should have scored off of some of their chances. They were very wasteful in the first half. A bit like Arsenal were in the previous match. As Maxwell Corne goes for on goal here. And a very rare start of being Maxwell Corne. Of course, I've switched to a two-striker formation. And it seems to have worked out here. Because Maxwell Corne has got on the score sheet. And it's a brilliant assist by Jordan Ive. really is. They were dragging out the defenders. I, sh I say they. Jordan Ive was dragging out the defenders. Using his sheer pace and then cutting inside using his brilliant dribbling skills, holding it up for Maxwell Corner. He just, it's a simple fake shot around the defender, really. Then he bangs it into the top left-hand corner with his weaker right foot. So that's really not too bad whatsoever. And Maxwell Corne was on fire in this match, to be honest. Getting another good opportunity here, creating a lot of stuff with him in this match. And maybe that's a, a realisation that I should actually use him more often. A really good teasing cross there by Hong Chul, but unfortunately, it couldn't actually quite find the head of Jordan Ibe. Well, it, it did find the head of Jordan Ibe, but only through a deflection. And again, Chelsea getting another good opportunity there. Lucas Piazon going for the shot there. The FIFA 13 legend. I used him in a lot of Road to Glory career modes in FIFA 13. He was so good. He still is good, but not as good as he used to be. I mean, he was so cheap back then, and he turned into such a beast. But anyway, you can see that we end up picking up a 1-0 result, and it's Max Corne, who is the hero in this match, picking us up all three points. And really, I have to say, Chelsea, how they didn't score from, more, from their shots that they did have, I'm very, very shocked at that. Manchester United beat Crystal Palace there, which is actually quite interesting interesting because they are also in the top five race so you know they're looking to qualify for either the Champions League or the Europa League and we also see there the Neil Moore Pay is happy that he is actually getting into the team and that's absolutely fine because he's a player that's in form and I'm happy to give players that are in form lots of game time especially when they're banging in the goals and they're getting me the points that I need I can't exactly complain, really. I mean, Neil Moore Pay, he's been, a, he's been a revelation this season. I was thinking of selling him at the beginning of this season. But, oh my God, was it worth keeping him. He's been a real, real star so far. And hopefully, he's got more goals to come to show for his brilliance, really. And you can see here that we've got the two youth players that we did actually end up promoting. Alex Cartwright. Hooray, we finally got a youth player that has some decent enough physicals. Still absolutely terrible physicals, but you know, at least it's something. At least it's not all red physicals with only green reactions. It's quite nice to see that. Alex Cartwright and also, I've forgotten the other goalkeeper's name, but we did promote him. And both of them, surprisingly enough, they don't actually have a potential status. No idea why that is. I mean, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments down below. Maybe it's something about promoting them after the 1st of May. I'm not really too sure about it, but he really should be. He really should have a potential status, especially Alex Cartwright. 66 overall at the age of 16. That should at least have showing great potential, really. I'm surprised he doesn't. But anyway, we are going into the third and final game of today's episode, and it will actually be against Manchester United. So it's been a very, very tough episode, hasn't it? We come up against some really, really strong sides, being Chelsea, Arsenal, and now Manchester United. Very, very difficult, and it is going to be in this match. We were actually playing the same formation as them, funnily enough. And that really made it a very, very difficult task, really, just trying to break them down. Because when you're playing the same formation as the AI, you can find it very, very hard to create chances because you can't exploit gaps. 
because it's the same formation as you. So, you know, there's not really that exploitation for gaps. The only really thing that you can do is, you, you know, go on the counter-attack and hope for the best. And that's exactly what I did in this game because Manchester United, they were having all the possession. They were doing everything right. They just weren't converting their chances. And we did actually have an injury early on in the match. And it's a shame because I think it actually ends up being Dele Ali who went off the field. Matt Wilczynski did come on for him though and he was a real, real part to this goal here. have no idea how it felt to Matt Yafora. I really don't know. It was a really, really good effort there by Chalova, but it ends up deflecting off of the heel of Matt Yafora and a weird way to get his first goal really. I mean, you see there, it just it's a load of deflections. It's a scrappy goal. It really is. Sometimes on FIFA you need a bit of luck and it was going my way there. Matt Yulfer getting the goal, and it's his first goal in the Premier League. A bit of a weird goal, you know, a bit of a weird debut goal in the Premier League. But, you know, you can't complain. We're one up in this match, and it was just about holding on to that lead in the second half. And that became increasingly difficult there for Laney going for a header. But he really, really should have done a lot better there. He probably should have scored from that angle. And it was still 1-0 to us. We were looking to extend our lead, though. It's Jordan Ibe using his blistering pace, getting past Fellaini like he's nothing. And then it's Neil more pay Passing it back to him again with a lovely over-the-top through ball. And De Gea made a meal of that. He really did. Trying to save it. And then it kind of rebounded back to his... I, I don't even know what happened. It was a really, really bad fluff up there. And it could have actually cost a goal had there been a man in the right place at the right time there. And it's Neil Pay getting around the defender there. Having a shot at the near post. And again... I'm going for the power shot when I should have gone for the finesse shot into the far corner. That was a really bad decision because De Gea is going to save that every day of the week. He's such a good goalkeeper on this game and he makes a good save there to deny more pay from scoring. But then we get another good opportunity. Here's Neil more pay fake shots round the defender. And that was a really, really good ball there by Ben and Williams all the way to Neil more pay. And we double our lead here again. It's Neil more pay getting the goal and being the hero in this match and that is the goal that we did need in this match against Manchester United to put the result beyond doubt it was a really really good goal actually I mean the through ball there to pick out Neil Morpay it's brilliant it's exquisite and then the finish around the goalkeeper it's just brilliant that's his 16th goal 16 goals for Neil Morpay never thought that would happen and he's only going to get better and better now that he's finally growing he's going to become such a good striker for us and I don't think I'll sell him anytime soon a goal there for Matt Yafora and also a goal there for Neil Morpay means that we pick up a 2-0 result and that is a very good result to end off the episode and we are on fire at the moment hopefully we can keep that going going towards the end of the season in the next episode it will actually be the season finale and I will do a live commentary for that so make sure to leave a like on the video if you do want to see that guys also don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here guys it really does help out my channel but other than that guys I'm gonna have to leave it there and I'll see you next time for another video thanks for watching